All right, picking it up here, adding a little light on the subject. This is uh, Velvet Doberman Central. This is where we watch movies. I guess I could do a, a little push in here. Did I say Velvet Doberman Central? What I meant is Couch Potato Central. And on this stand, up until about 30 minutes ago, was a, a high boy, tri-level, can't really quite get the perspective here. There we go, I think. Doesn't want to focus. Mouse cage, which I will show. I'll bring it down here and we'll get all of these elements in place. So here is the, here is Couch Potato Central. Or we could do it this way. A little bit of a smoother portion. And this is where we watch our movies. Where the big screen resides. Where the big screen resides. And the uh, sound center, of course. Can we get better light on this? And the sound center, of course. And this should be good enough. Oh. But as we do a quick pan around here, let's do it this way. Big screen. Sound center. And, oh, what is this? Why, it's a bowl full of peas. And I have a heart trap, since we love our mises to pieces. Inside the little lean-to there is water. Previously, we had some food. But now we have this cage, this uh, have a heart set up right here. Because we're finally trying to get to the end of this uh, Odyssey, that's the word I was looking for. We even have one of these incredible wheels out here to entice the mice. All right, what is this is all going somewhere, and of course I can take notes. Have I forgotten anything that I need to do downstairs? Whoa, yeah, let's talk about in here. What have we got going on in here? All right, well, this is the guest bathroom. So we can, uh, we can do it this way. Welcome to the guest bathroom. More mice cages. And we actually have, this one is empty. We have uh, one from the, the tank. And I think he's in the tube. You can see the tip of his nose here. Hey, this is a Tuzi. We call him Tuzi. Or her. Very difficult to get a a walk around, a, a, com a complete bird's eye shot of this. But imagine the wastebasket moved, the toilet brush moved out of the way, this door closed, rug shoved under the door, and yours truly down here like this. Trying to catch two mice that got out in the process of <laughs> transferring them from this cage to this wonderful new cage, which we are about to see now currently upstairs in the bathtub, and I'll explain that too. Is there any way we can uh, make this a little bit more? Yeah, the guest bathroom. So here's the guest bathroom. We have, uh, this is the extent of our cats these days since we have mice. So welcome to the guest bathroom here. We have these cages. This one is empty because the contents of this cage, which consisted of three critters, was transferred to the, the tri-level cage previously mentioned that was sitting right here until I had to take it upstairs. 
because one of the mice got out of it by squeezing through the bars. That's the whole sense of all this. Check this out. Mouse paraphernalia. Matter of fact, let's get a little more light on the subject. Uh, ignore the flashlight. So we have all these parts to all these cages. There's a leftover wheel. This is a mainstay and a staple item for mouse keepers. Not to be confused with housekeepers. These are used toilet paper rolls. They love them. And then there's... Oh, that's it. Because the third one of these cages that we bought, since I was planning on connecting them together with uh, uh, neoprene tube, there's going to be a third cage here. Until I realized that you can't see the mice in this cage setup that I had proposed. As brilliant as it was. Uh, that's it. Okay. I'm going to have coffee now and I'll continue upstairs.